so finally here i am with new valorant patch which is highly compressed okay before starting let me tell you one thing this tutorial include a to z steps and all the steps you need to take after downloading are included because in the last two three times i uploaded parts and i realized that some friends didn't understand how to use it secondly some pupils had comments like are these valorant clients folders in parts are safe i mean is there no harmful side in it so yes you can scan and then utilize those parts with right client for those who have the last update it's better if they update it because the update is around 2 to 5 gb and if your pc shutdowns while updating for some reasons there won't be any issue valorant saves the download progress on your pc so when you start the download again the remaining files will be downloaded according to the percentage for example if you need to download five files and the pc shutdowns at 10 percent i mean on one file after downloading one file so when you start again the remaining four files will show 25 percent progress on each file so that's how that's the process work now let's drive towards the process first of all we need to download the right client which is important so simply we will download here the valor download valorant download valorant and hit enter in the step uh first you need to download the riot client on the uh, just go on the official website you need to log in your account and download the riot client right just like this sign in and when you use the sign in account you can use any username over here if you don't have username you can create using the gmail or you know the facebook but uh, after login uh, into the Valorant website, you need to click on the play button and then click on the download. Once you click on the start downloading, it's around 67.196 MB. okay now in the step 2 you have to install it and choose the destination for valorant where you want to download it now click on the advanced options here you can see the download path so you need to choose the destination for your valorant actually in my case i'm going with the t drive i have ssd so i'm choosing the ssd for this now the size is 452.7 mp so just wait here for finishing this process before finishing this process now jump on the step number three now that i have uploaded highly compressed files you need to extract them the extraction process is easy since it's like a chain you can extract any one part and all parts will automatically extract just make sure all compressed files are in the same folder now i will provide these links actually okay i guess i have removed oh, over here so there's totally nine parts i have already downloaded let me show you uh over here you can see now the important thing is make a new separate folder valorant parts open it paste here now just choose any part and you need to extract to the valorant right or extract here both options will work fine so or you can select all folders together and then click on the extract files now just choose the destination where you want to extract it and uh, in my case you can see valorant parts and this folder is automatically created so just click on ok uh, password is mentioned in the description just go ahead and use it now all the parts are extracting in the same folder over here right we need to copy this folder open and then copy this folder Now, our half job has done. 
now simply you need to launch the right client it will start downloading the valorant folder don't let right games to download the valorant completely because it will take uh, too much time to download the complete valorant folder so what we are gonna do here we need to make sure that there is now a valorant folder has been created in the right games over here you can see it's created now simply close it you don't need to download it right now we have folder over here in which we have only a few things we have only folders yet so now download has been paused simply go back we are just waiting here for these parts right so we are just waiting here now so extraction done now after extraction you will have a valorant folder copy it from here now paste it into the riot games folder where you choose the destination to install the riot client which is over here now you can see the valorant folder already created now simply you need to paste it over here and it will overwrite a few files that recently we just downloaded and here it's done replace the files in the destination and it's almost done after pasting the valorant folder when you launch the riot client it will verify valorant and your internet usage won't be high just a few megabytes uh, we will go here into the right client and then launch the right client this time it will install right vanguard which is around 300 to 500 mb in size i guess 300 mb now simply we need to log in the account let me try spider let's log in the account first now as you can see here click on the valorant click on the update just click on it go into the setting enable auto update right and that's it you can also click on the repair it will start That's it, your game files have been saved successfully and repaired and now you can close it. Your game requires a system restart to play restart. Please restart your computer. If this issues continue, reach out to our sport player. So simply you need to restart your computer. Now on the next boot you can play last but not least these files are saved 100 percent originally compressed by me so don't worry about them but there are a few things you need to know the first whenever you extract compressed files their size increase and this time valorant is around 43.5 gb and the second thing if you want to highly compress files i've made a complete methods and i'll share it in the next video please subscribe to my channel so that you can get notifications for upcoming videos your support is very important to me many people have asked me for the compressed version of fortnite i will try my best my internet is not that fast so i don't download every game but i play valorant so i share it uploading takes around four hours during which i can't do anything else so it's hard for me to many time i am also looking forward to a stable patch because as you know after valorant new updates many patch fixes come and waiting for them in is better than dealing with the trouble of valorant asking for updates again and again i hope you like today's video please thumbs up for this video subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos i mostly work on your suggested topics so feel free to drop your feedback in the comment section thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye